So because there's no syllabus in a PhD, you have to make a lot of decisions about what you're going to do. You have to set your own goals. And in the absence of a clearly defined syllabus, the natural temptation is to try and aim as high as possible. So if you want to make sure that you're going to impress your super, supervisor, impress your examiner, aim for the sky, right? Aim as high as you possibly can. That's a natural temptation. But you've got to remember that a PhD is about developing the skills of a professional academic, right? And in the world of professional academia, you're a beginner. So if you aim too high, too quickly, there will be a massive gap between where your skills are and where you're setting your targets. And that is always going to be a recipe for immense stress because you're just not going to be able to jump that high, basically. So what you have to do is try to structure your goals in a way that helps you to develop skills. So you can have high long-term ambitions, but in the short term, you have to aim just above where you are now. Okay, so think about the direction you want to go by all means. Think about the grand aims, but in the short term, always aim a little bit above what you can do now. And then the gap is much smaller. So the gap between your skill level and your ambition, you know, it's bridgeable with effort. Okay, it might take a lot of effort just to make this little, um, little step up, but then you can build from there. So you can stretch your, um, stretch your goals a little bit more. You know, you raise the bar and then you raise your skills to meet it. You raise the bar, raise your skills to meet it. And if you do that consistently, then over the course of however many years it takes you to do your PhD, you can get extremely good at what you do. But if you just set immediate high targets and you jump and you jump and you jump and you jump, then you're always going to be stressed.